Have you ever been curious about how differentials work, what it is, and why it is so important in the automotive industry? Well, stick around as I give you a beginner's understanding of how differentials work and what they are. Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Sanga. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And to start today's episode, we're gonna start with a simple definition of what differentials are. And from Britannica's definition, it says that a differential gear in automotive mechanics is a gear arrangement that permits power from the engine to be transmitted to a pair of driving wheels, dividing the force equally between them, but permitting them to follow paths of different lengths as when turning a corner or transversing an uneven row. Okay, so then how do differential gears work? Taking this diagram, for example, power is transferred from the engine to the drive shaft, and then power is transferred from the drive shaft to the ring gear. The ring gear contains bearings which support one or two diametrically opposite differential bevel pinions. Now, each axle is attached to a differential side gear which meshes with the differential pinions so if the car was to move on a straight road all gears will rotate at the same speed and unit but let's say the car wants to turn left so the left wheel will have less speed and the right hand wheel will be forced to rotate faster than the left hand wheel which causes the car to turn left. There are many differential gears in every type of automobile, but depending on the type of car it is, the differential gear can be different. And I'm just gonna give you four types of differential gears, which are used in the day-to-day -day cars that you see around. And we're gonna start with the most common type of differential, which is the open differential gear. This is used in most family sedans and economic cars. It is the easiest differential to fix and build because all the parts can be easily obtained in the manufacturing industry. Second, we have our locked or welded differential, which are used in full-size trucks. Number three, we have limit slip differential, which are mostly used in sports cars. By default, these differentials are exactly or operate the same way as open differentials. But when the car is under traction, it becomes a locking mechanism that helps the car reduce traction. And lastly, we have torque vectoring differentials. These are unique type of differentials and they mostly have more gears to help improve or increase the torque in each wheel. They are very unique and very complicated to make and not many cars have them. Okay, so as manufacturers move from the diesel era to the electric vehicle era, differential gears are still going to remain. However, there will be a little bit of tweaking because electric vehicle differentials are a little bit different from diesel engine differentials. And over the years, differentials are going to improve not just for efficiency and style, but also for safety. Differentials have been an important factor in the automotive industry. And until there's a better method to be used in automotive cars, differentials are here to stay. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Sanga, your average engineer. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit a like. And if you want to watch more, hit subscribe. Thank you for watching my first YouTube video and I really appreciate it. And I hope to bring more informative engineering videos soon enough. So see you later.